Hello, Bumpy Mixquigums here, and it's time for a little bit more of my Let's Play of The Last Federation. This is episode three, and we are ready to get started in just a, just a minute here. Well, we're ready to get started either way, but let me show you some stuff that I figured out eventually. I'm going to click on the planet and do the wrong thing. We're going to right-click on the planet, and we are going to look at the owner details. Now this used to be a different entire screen. I'm not familiar with this so much, but yeah. So let's let's read about the Thraxians. We'll go over the kind of the different races and kind of what they are, and I'll forget eventually as we go on through the LP. So you guys can remind me hopefully. But let's take a look at the Thraxians. The Thraxians, monstrous nightmares. Each planet is ruled by a hive queen who controls all the workers on her world. They are efficient killers, the most deadly force in the solar system. Now that the hydrals are gone. They, are, they aren't evil per se, but they have no concept of, val of the value of others' lives. They can be a powerful ally if you manage it, but they are very hard to please. And apparently they have different ways of doing things as far as um, you can be successful or have different interactions with them based on the mood of their hive queen. So that's kind of an interesting uh, thing. So that's for the Thoraxians. We'll take a look over here at the Evix. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the owner details for them. Quiet and studious, these are the most advanced beings in the solar system. Unfortunately, they are also amoral. They are not above unleashing horrible diseases on enemies, stealing every technology that, they, that isn't nailed down, or even blowing up their own planet if they think they have no hope of survival. So, yeah, those guys. We'll take a look at our captors over here, the Andor. And, let's go here. The Andors, they are a utopian society of robots. They are peaceable and benevolent, and will never try to take a planet from another race. They will fight for a variety of reasons, but they can also be relied on to send aid where it is needed. Well, unfortunately, you guys captured me, and therefore you must die, or some such nonsense. Alright, let's take a look at the Burlesque Warlords. Warlike and volatile, ruled by an unstable hierarchy of warlords. Quick to fight, but also sometimes to fault, predictable aggressiveness can be a form of weakness. Fortunately, the only way to deal with them politically is through bribes, blackmail, and duels. Yep, I have dueled a few of these fellows in my day. And it's quite fun, actually, but again, I don't know if I particularly enjoy the weaponry I have right now. We'll see, though. We'll take a look at the Palatians. Communists... Agarians, Agarians, I, I'm sure, whatever. Weak, furry, and rather resembling barn owls. Usually very easy to sway to your wishes, but they are absolutely pathetic in ground combat and not always the best in space fight, or in a space fight. They are quite good at suicidally bombing the heck out of enemy planets, though, so th there is that. <laughs> so not the greatest military might in the galaxy, apparently. And we'll take a look over here at the Skylaxians. Honorable, and per or honorable, perhaps to a fault. Very scientifically advanced, very calm, and able to convince most any race of anything under the right circumstances. An excellent foundation upon which to build a federation. But if they don't approve of your actions, you can find them a quick enemy as well. Alright, let's take a look here. And the Boranes. Solitary, a beastly loners. Good in a fight, but they're solitary... Nature leads to rather thin populations. Usually not one to map major... Er, sorry. Don't know what I was reading, guys. My glasses aren't exactly the cleanest of things, either. Usually not one of the major players in the solar system, but if you can convince them of the virtues of a federation, they can be a good way to backdoor in other races. Don't know how I like the sound of that, but that's okay. Alright, so we've gone to the Palatians, we've gone to the Skylaxians, we've gone to the Borain, and now we're over to the Acutians. And let's take a look. The Acutians, cold, robotic capitalist, one of the most, uh, one of the more dangerous races, as they are always looking to make new acquisitions, and they are able to immediately have any citizens become soldiers. And then back to the Thraxians. So we've covered the whole breadth of the uh, whole dealy here. So we know what's going on. Let's take a look at this mission, this quest. And the Acutians have a military, or the, the Acutian military has a secret proposal to gain spacefaring tech. 
My name is W111. I work for aerospace firm. So basically, they want us to help them gain spacefaring tech, and I think we can do that. If it, if lost, ignored, or other contract taken, they won't be super thrilled with me. So eh, it's fine. We'll we'll bring them into the space race. I don't hate it. Kill all, or kill at least one flagship. Alright, that's okay. And it looks like the Thraxians aren't going to be super thrilled, but we should be fine. Looks like our minigun is our weapon of choice in this particular thing, but we are not ready for that yet. Unfortunately, we still have that to do. Alright. And we are going to do that, and bam. And I guess we destroyed one flagship so far. And we're gonna go destroy some more, I guess. And why not? Just murder everyone. We're just those kind of guys, I guess. And that's all well and good as we slowly take them out. I'm trying to capture all the uh, pilots because I now know that I can sell them as slaves. And I like that a whole heck of a lot. I'm generally against slavery, but in this particular game, I think I like it. Alright. We don't really have a target to shoot at, so... There's one potential left? Ah, over here. Okay. Which I guess that just got taken out, so we are done. The Acution capitalists are now spacefaring. Yay! Extreme caution is advised. These are the same beings that destroyed your home world. Really? I thought the Andors did that. So I guess usually in the quick start, as opposed to the advanced start, the Acutians are the ones that actually killed your home world, and the Andors were actually a decent group. Yeah, because I thought that was different. Alright, so that all makes sense. It's all well and good. Alright, well, we brought them into the spacefaring technology type of deal. It's pretty easy, and I'm not sure what to do at this point. Um, we could help the burlusts, but in reality, we have a lot of stuff that we really still need to do. Alright. Let's get rid of that, and... I'm not... See, I haven't successfully finished this game yet, guys. Um, I got all the way down to pretty much three races left because the uh, burlust just started murdering everyone in the entire galaxy and it was pretty nasty. It was a very, very knock down, drag out, bang up, beat the tar out of fight and it was just very, very unpleasant. Does not have key to cash save. <laughs> Alright, that's fair. Well, we have the diplomat. Let's see, can we... <clears throat> can we do anything of any importance here? Doesn't look like that. There's still no pirate bases. So I'm not sure what to do at this point. Um, I can continue to get all races into the spacefaring thing, but I might want to start building my relations with some of these folks. And as it stands right now, none of them super, super like me. The, Bora uh, the Burlust are the only ones that really like me. Let's go see if we can get them into... Uh, the spacefaring tech. Let's see if we can do it. We'll run another one of the gauntlets. We'll try to do this every uh, every episode as far as we can. So how far do we have to go? I'm not sure. And let's uh, let's get ready for this. Uh, okay, we have to get in there. Hmm. The lust will not be super happy if we go that route. The Andors I don't care so much about. I should be able to scoot past. I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh, please don't shoot. Please don't fire. Oh my goodness. I was so worried there. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we just... Well, well darn it. Charge! Well, maybe. Maybe we did it. Maybe we didn't upset anyone. Let's see. I'm sure we upset at least one group of people. Let's find out. The, the combat. Are space -faring. They're solitary and dangerous. Oh, well, it's like they just the Andor's got upset. Yeah, well, that's not bad. Alright. 
So that is done, and now it leaves, what, two people left? The Palatians and the, uh, what are these guys? The Skylaxians. The Skylaxians are probably the best place to start building, uh, your group. So I should have probably got them. Oh, there you are, Space Variant. I'm retarded. It's fine, guys. I apologize. Yeah, the Sky... I should really be working on getting the Skylaxians to hate me less. Um, Space Outpost, Cooperative Development... Um, let's do this. And what can we build here? What can we construct? Not a whole lot. Well, I can do the space elevator for five months. That's not bad. Let's do that. They'll like me a little bit, so we'll we'll two exit. And we got a few credits, not all that much. We got a little bit of love, it's fine. A little bit of influence with them, alright. Um Ancient Artifact found another Tech discovered from an ancient artifact, okay. And the Borangs, of course, became spacefaring. That's okay. Things are going pretty good for the Skylaxians. I was hoping that they would like us more, but eh, it's fine. Uh, we can take a look at our tech tree here. Let's see. Tech progress. We really need to get this stuff going, because these are all things that help us a lot. Unfortunately, we don't have any of them right now. We have this one thing that is actually beneficial to us. And... There's so many that we actually need and we don't have, and none of the other folks have it either. But we got the space elevator now that we can trade with other folks. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that's kind of going for us, but, eh, not that many. Alright, well, why don't we try getting the final guys into space? And then we'll have a full party here, and hopefully good things can happen. We'll get 5,000 credits, which will help us be able to do different things. And then we'll try to figure out what exactly we want to do. This is not looking super fantastic for us, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. Now, I'm not sure if it's just that inner ring or what. Um, I don't see where I need to get to just yet. So we'll try. Oh my. A little further than I had hoped. Let's see if we can do this. Alright, we were able to. Let's do that, and then maybe that, and then that. Go! Alright, we're doing pretty good so far. I know this seems kind of silly and somewhat simplistic, and it, it is. It's a little ridiculous. But I like it well enough. The combat's not bad when you actually get into the combat. I just kind of wish I had that other that other weapon that I had before. That would actually make me quite happy. Alright, and we should be able to make it without upsetting anyone, we'll see. Yeah, we skimmed all the way across and we got through without triggering anything. So that's pretty sweet. That doesn't happen very often. In fact, I've actually been pretty good with the that Peltians this entire are time. Peltians are soft sorry. and weak. However, they have a penchant for blowing things up from orbit. Mm. They may be easy allies to win over. They're... <laughs> uh, they're patient and weak, I think they said. They blow stuff up from orbit. Alright guys, so all races are now there. The Palatians, or the... Pal yeah, I think that's what she called them, the Palatians. I was calling them the Palatians. The Palatians are now spacefaring. And everybody is up and running. Everybody likes us to a degree except for them. So I'm going to see if I can do something now. I have enough... Oh, sorry. I have enough uh, money to actually do some stuff. I can attack the Andor Parliament. That seems cool. Why don't I do that? What does that do? You realize that there's a never-ending pool of do-gooder robots to fill the Parliament seats that you're about to empty, right? I have to say, that is a super violent way to get a new batch of parliament members, parliament members in. Unless you're just trying to impress the Burles, which, okay, this would do be a great way to do it if they aren't friendly with the Andors. Then you're probably better off just bargaining bargaining for an election recall. Alright, so let's take a look. The Andors will really, really not like it. The Skylaxians will not be impressed with us doing that at all. In fact, they will hate it. Burles the Burlesques will love it. And the Palatians, they're okay with it. They're fine. Oh, well, that seems pretty bad. So let's try something different. What is this? 
Um, we can smuggle in resistance fighters. I, there was supposed to be something where I could actually do like raids of their thing. Hmm. Nobody seems to want to join us. All right. Well, they're, they're used to see things have changed so much lately, guys, that um, I am actually a little bit lost as to what all has changed and where everything was that I wanted to go and do. Um, well, I think what I can do is help the Palatians or the Peltians get their public order in order. So I'm going to give that a shot. So we're going to go to Friendly Axe, and we are going to... Oh, I don't know. We will help uh, assist the local law enforcement. There we go. We'll take action, and I guess we can do it as long as we want. Before, it used to be quite different. Oh, it sounds like there's some sort of battling going on. So we lost some money, but you know what? That's okay. We gained a little bit of uh, likeness, and their public order is now decent. So we gained 71 public order, which isn't bad. It cost us quite a bit of money, but it's worth it. It sounds like there was combat happening. So who was fighting who? Let's see the race, race relations right now. It doesn't seem like it shows me who everybody else is not happy with right now. I thought it used to. Hmm. Let's see, we've given gifts, tax against our ships. Well, I'm sorry for that, Evix. Is what it is. Tech research, the Skylaxians have researched the tech. We used to be able to steal tech, and that's what I've been trying to figure out how I can do that again, and I don't recall, guys, so I apologize. This episode won't run overly long, probably 20 to 25 minutes, somewhere in that range. That's about as far as I plan to go with it. I'm going to go help the Thraxians if I can as well. It looks like their medical is trending downward, so if I can help it, I will. We can mine an uncolonized moon. Um, hmm. We'll help with medical assistance. Alright. Take action. We'll do that for a little bit of time. Pause. What? So these guys are fighting? Is that what's happening? The Skylaxians and the Evix are at war with one another? Yeah, we're going to do that. Okay, so their medical is now awesome. I guess I've spent way too much time doing that. I don't know how long that was. It was probably way longer than it should have been. So let's see. How are they with other uh, people? And... Alright, so there's a few other things that we can do here. We can check out the elders, and we can broker trade deals, obviously. We can do, um, oh wow, accelerate warship mobilization. We can colonize a moon, crack down on, on crime. We can invest in infrastructure, invest in medicine, prioritize the environment. So there's a lot of little things that we can do. At this point, I think we're going to leave them alone. Who else is struggling? The Burlusts are struggling with public order. That doesn't surprise me. Let's see about the Burlust Warlords. Um, military Industrial pro uh, Complex. We can have them attack another race, destroy a pirate base, or any of these things, but none of those are available to us. I guess we don't have that much respect with their uh, leader right now, who seems to be Ularu. So we really have to do like a duel or something with him. So we can challenge him to a duel, but if we actually defeat him, then he won't be the ruler anymore. So it's one of those things. We're not exactly at the best point. Alright. Let's uh let's do a hostile act to this. We're gonna capture the manufacturing outpost. We're gonna take action. And once we do this, we are going to break off the episode. So the Andors already despise us passionately. And we're okay with that, so we're just going to go over here and murder stuff, because we can do that. And as soon as we're done, things will be looking sweet, sweet, nice. And hopefully, eventually, we will get through this stuff. My goodness, it's taking quite the time. It's nearly down, I think. Oh man, it's not really going down that quickly. 
Alright, well, we are slowly killing things off. Well, what do we need to do? Dock with the manufacturing outpost enclosure, and there's four, four to four remaining. Kind of wanted to kill some more stuff, but you know what? I think that's probably a bad idea. Oh. Alright, well, we need to get ourselves situated right. We might have just hurt ourselves pretty badly, in fact. Turn down our weapons, and that explains why we weren't doing much in the way of damage. Alright, we're just going to fly through here. Kind of get away. And then we're going to do one of these. And then one of these to follow. And then what does this do? Divert power to shields. Uh, immediately pushes the shield health of your flagship to 100%, which it already is now, so that's not so bad. And we're just going to kind of bypass this. Just get inside. Probably lower our shields a little bit. And there we go. We're back to balanced. Get inside, and we're gonna dock, and then we should be fine here. As long as we don't take too too much damage, and I think we're okay. How many more turns do we have? Three turns left to dock. Most of the stuff is defending from the outside, so we're okay sitting inside, and we're slowly killing everything off as well. Which is sweet, sweet, nice. And bam, we have docked with the first one. There's still several remaining that we need to deal with, so we're gonna go to the next spot. Hopefully murder some things on our way through. Definitely take a little bit of damage on our way in, but it shouldn't be anything that we can't really handle. It's all well and good. Doing pretty good with the docking right now. Still a few turns left. Two turns left to dock. And... Eh, probably gonna eat some... Yeah, we ate some damage there. Actually did a lot of shield damage. We've docked with two of them now. There's two remaining, so we're gonna head ourselves up that way. Oh! Apparently I failed that one. Wow. So I guess I ran into two of the uh, missiles that were flying at me and instead of dispatching them. Well, that's, that's unfortunate. See? I do make mistakes, guys. It is very possible to get owned, and we managed to warp out just at the instant before our ship exploded and all the damage it took. But it's taken us 12 solar months to retreat and make repairs. Well, that's unfortunate. So we lost quite a bit there. And we're going to be out of business, out of commission for a little while. Well, it looks like the uh, Evix have taken that over. We're going to... We're going to t capture it again. And there's three remaining. It looks like the Evix are allied with us, which is fantastic. So... Um... I'm going to go to the Special Weapons Facility. That sounds like an exciting place to go. The Zero Gravity Hospital? That doesn't sound pleasant. Blow up, but I suppose we're going to do whatever we have to. I don't know what this thing is, but I want it. Oh, we have it already. Okay. Alright, well then let's get over here to this side. It is a little laggy. I don't ever remember there being lag on this before, so I'm a little disappointed by that. But what I think is going to happen here is I should be able to get inside and then do this pretty easily. Just kind of keep an eye out of what's actually happening. I think we're doing fine. I don't think there's anything they can do. I should have probably killed off some more of the uh, structures like I'm doing now. Oh no, I, oh, I went outside the range of it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, I'm just going to sit here then. There's not really much going on against us right now. The Evics are shooting, but they're shooting the enemy. And that helps to have allies, apparently. So they weren't happy that we did whatever we did, or that the, uh, the Andor did whatever they did against us, and they actually sent people to help us. So that's pretty sweet. Alright, well now all we have to do is dock with these remaining two, and we're done. Everything's already pretty much destroyed at this point, so... It's just easy, easy stuff. Apparently you can only dock with one at a time, that's fair. So we'll sit here, we'll look pretty, and in a few seconds we'll be successful and we'll have it. And then I think I'll even give this to the Evics because they decided to help us on this. 
And that's something you can do, and hopefully that will get us a little bit more influence with them. And we have one remaining, so we'll just sit here and continually help shoot and fire and attack. And hopefully all the Evix ships survive, and hopefully the Evix are actually going to destroy our one enemy in the galaxy, because that would be awesome. Alright, so that took a few turns. We have two more docking turns that we have to take. And then we are done, and there it is. Combat has ended, and we are victorious. And unfortunately the Evix lost a little bit, but overall not too bad. And we're going to head up here, and we're going to do Friendly Axe, and we are going to... Let's see, we're going to boost Outpost and Building Construction. And there we go, and the influence with the Andors are going to be worse, and the influence with the Evix are going to be much nicer. And with that, guys, we're going to break off the episode. I'll see if I can figure out why I can't do the stealing of technology and other stuff like that before the next episode, but... I'm also going to change up my order of doing things a little bit. I'm going to try, if Mutanat's available, I'm going to try to move my Wednesday scheduled programming over to, excuse me, over to Tuesday. So up, move, move that up a day, and then that'll break up the week a little bit more. So it'll be Monday, whatever I decide to put up. Tuesday is going to be what Wednesday was. Wednesday is going to be a free day again. And then Thursday and Friday will be busy, and then Saturday and Sunday are free days as well for me to implement whatever it is I want to implement at the time. So, with that guys, hopefully it works, we'll see. Hopefully Mutanat agrees to it and everything works out for us. If not, well, I'll keep my regularly scheduled program a little longer and we'll see. But, that's the plan, that's the goal, that's what I'm hoping for. If you guys enjoyed this, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share it, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode, and there will be at least one more episode this week, maybe two, so... If you are enjoying this game, guys, I'll look for it probably, I want to say, on Saturday is when I'm going to do the next episode. Until then, guys, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later. Later.